glad that you're joining me here today for a day in the life. This is going to be quite a day. We've got a lot planned. Uh, my middle child, he has got soccer camp today. And I think I've got to get him there at like 8.45. So I am up early this morning getting my devotions in. Um, I'm gonna get dressed and start preparing everybody breakfast here in a minute. I was just writing out my little to-do list today. Uh, so I figured I would let you guys know what I'm doing today. Um, so kind of the plan for today is I gotta take Lane to soccer practice. I need to run, get a few things at the store. We need like some fruit and some things because we are going out of town on Thursday. We're driving to Alabama. We're going to like a kids conference slash camp slash fun few days. Uh, so we're taking two of our kids to do that with our church. And so I need to start packing for that. I need to get some snacks for that. Start preparing a little bit for that trip. I need to do laundry. I need to make sourdough. That's what I wanted to bring you guys along with today. You guys have been asking me for a long time my recipe um, for my sourdough and kind of show you guys the process. It's probably going to be tomorrow before I actually bake it. So this is going to be more of like a two day process. Usually it takes me about two days to, to bake it start to finish. I want to start making the kids some little folders that we can take on our trip that have a lot of the Home and Haven bundle activities in it. I'll show you guys that. But I do this just about every time we have a long road trip because it keeps the kids entertained. They absolutely love it. I got a bunch of stuff from Dollar Tree too that I'm gonna put uh, in the car with them, but I'll print out the Home and Haven bundles. I'll have them some stickers, some new books that I got at the thrift store. So just some fun things like that. Our new car that we just got does not have a DVD player and we are used to having a DVD player on long trips. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna go, if the bundle activities and stuff like that is gonna be enough or if we need to add in a tablet for road trips. I don't know. We'll see. But I need to at least get those folders prepped and ready for our trip. I really need to sweep and mop. So these last few weeks have been very busy. Um, last week especially, we had so many things going on. We had to go buy our new car. We had a big garage clean out project. I also had a bunch of videos to film so that I don't have to do any work on our trip. I'm trying to get ahead of the game a little bit. And so y'all know when you have a busy week like that, your house usually just falls apart and that has been the case. So today I really need to kind of go around the house and pick up and clean. It's, it's quite a mess, <laughs> but I'm probably gonna save most of the cleaning till right before we leave on our trip, which is still several days away but I at least need to get the floors done today and get some picking up done. I need to upload a YouTube video and get that ready to go live tomorrow. I need to get a workout done. It's been several days since I've done any kind of workout and I really need to get back on that. I would like to pull some weeds in my flower garden today and um, do our budget for the trip, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to those things. So those are just the if I can get to them, that'll happen. If not, I'll save them for tomorrow. Another goal of mine today is just to spend some time with my kiddos because like I said, last week was so busy that I feel like I didn't get to spend a lot of time with them. So today I would like to just sit and rest and like just be with them and enjoy them. So hopefully I will be able to get to that today too. So I'm gonna continue to drink my coffee. I'm gonna read some more in my Bible. Um, gonna have to go get my second child up because he is our boy who sleeps in and he's got to get up because we got to go to soccer. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoy this day in the life.
Okay, friends, I dropped my child off at soccer camp. I uh, ran to the Goodwill to see if they had anything. I didn't really find a whole lot, but I found a few things. And it's always a good idea to go on Mondays. That seems to be the best days, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and then I had to run in here to Walmart and grab a few snacks for our road trip and a few things that we needed for the week. And now I'm headed back home, gonna start working on some chores. I need to see if my sourdough starter is ready to make my big starter for the bread uh, and <laughs> see how that works. I, I'm not sure if I have timed my sourdough right or not um, to where I can get it started today. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still getting in the hang of the summer sourdough. It's so much different than sourdough in the winter. So we'll just have to see how that goes today. But um, the hope is to be able to get my dough ready for that today. to say but I go without knowing if I told you that I don't know what to believe in I'm about to start this four weeks for everybody um it's like a 26 minute leg workout it's week two this is on beach body on demand this is beach body on demand is what I have used for almost seven years absolutely love it they recently just changed to where there's like always new stuff um and a lot of like live workouts and so fun stuff like that i would love to eventually get the bike that goes with all this that would be so fun but i'm gonna get this leg workout done I'm not gonna be able to move tomorrow <laughs> workout I'm gonna eat a quick breakfast it's 11 a.m. but I'm just now having breakfast I'm kind of trying to do intermittent fasting loosely um, so I'm having some overnight oats with uh, some walnuts and I'll probably have like a boiled egg too I try to have a good bit of protein after my workouts and drink lots and lots of water I've been drinking green tea that's been really helping kind of boost my metabolism now I'm gonna try to work on some laundry uh, work on uploading some YouTube content and maybe get a few other things checked off my checklist. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of I think I'm gonna make this soft sourdough sandwich bread recipe from this awesome cookbook um, because it's just a little bit less involved, but, and it's so, so good. And we really need sandwich bread. And so this makes three loaves and I can even freeze them if I need to. So I think that's what we're gonna make today. This is my second like tried and true recipe after my artisan loaf. Now this is where my starter is at right now. And as you can see, it hasn't totally doubled in size, um, almost, so we're almost there. But here's my trick for getting your sourdough leaven to rise quickly. You get an old sock that's clean and put some rice in it and then put this in the microwave for like a minute and a half and then stick your sourdough on top of that and it makes it rise so much faster. It just needs a lot of warmth to rise. Could you just shed a little light, shed a little light, shed a little light on me? Shed a little light, shed a little light, shed a little light on me. Why'd you go and leave me here all alone in the shadows? Could you just shed a little light, shed a little light, shed a little light on me?
get to make bread. You can see the starter is nice and happy. It's got lots of bubbles. And when I put it in a cup of water, it floated to the top. So that means it's ready. I'm down here in the schoolroom about to print off some summer bundle activities. I may do some stuff from several of the bundles uh, just to have some variety. Uh, but I always like to put these together for the kids when we do road trips. That way they have lots of fun educational activities that they can do in the car and it's just super helpful and they always really, really look forward to this. So it's something fun that I do before road trips just about every time. you get on your legs? What is it? Did you mark her? Yeah. You're not supposed to have markers. <laughs> Trash bag, taking out the trash.
guys, I totally forgot about filming this video. Um, <laughs> I obviously put them in these pans and let them rise. They had they they really should rise longer than this. You really want them to be about a half inch to an inch above the pan. But it's almost dinner time, and I really need these ready for dinner. So I think I'm gonna at least bake one right now, and then I might let the other two rise a little bit longer. There she is, guys. It turned out really good. We've already started devouring it. Uh, I would say probably let it rise like at least a half inch above so it's really nice and fluffy. You want to bake it about 40 minutes on 350. I usually just put a little thermometer in there and once it gets to 200 degrees, then you know that it's done in the inside and ready to pull out. And then we use this just for like sandwiches throughout the week. It's really good with French toast. It's good just as a side for dinner. We use it for so many different things. So if you're new to sourdough and you're not crazy about the sourdough sour taste, this is a good one to start with because it doesn't have as strong of a sour taste because it does have that honey in there that kind of helps to balance it all out. So this is another really good option. I will try to put the recipe down below for you guys and I'll also link the cookbook that it's in. It is such a good recipe. So tired after all of that Lego organizing. That was a lot. The boys are really excited to have that finished. That was a labor of love for sure. <laughs> but anyways, we are about to get some dinner. Um, my husband is working nights and when he works nights, I usually just do something super simple. A lot of times it's mac and cheese or an omelet or a salad. And tonight we're gonna do some like chicken sausage and some leftover beans. And I may do another vegetable or like a fruit on the side, but that is pretty much it. I may have a salad for myself and then we'll do baths and bedtime and that'll be it. So I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching and being here. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's a free way that you can support me and it helps so much. And I'll see you guys back here next time. <laughs> You ready to go night-night? No, I'm not sleeping. You gonna go sleep? Yeah, sleep. Okay, night-night. Um, Mom. You want me to come with you? Mm -hmm.